Good morning, everyone. This is uh, Hao Yin uh, from HR Immigration, and um, today is the 18th of November, 2018. And I really want to talk about um, the employer-led work visa application in the future. Um, quite often, we have uh, we deal with work visa applications, and uh, uh, immigration will ask the employer to provide their um, bank statement. Um, they they also ask the employer to provide. Um, their um, employment, um, the company uh, organizational chart. They've also required a GS return. They've also required, um, you know, employers uh, financial statement as well. So um, it is quite common that now we see uh, immigration request a lot of documents from the employer and talking about, um, you know, uh, who is doing what position in your company and how much you pay for the other employees. It's kind of breaching the um, other person's privacy, but. Um, that's what immigration is wanting. They're wanting to know everything about this company. They want to know uh, what this person is doing, what job, and they want to know have the employer paid GST, has the employer paid um, PYE, is this um, company sustainable? But uh, when it comes down to sustainable, you know, um, you can't uh, just say, oh, this company is, make, is not making a profit last year or so, then this company is not sustainable. You know, we have a lot of um, uh, companies that has not doing well in the last year or so and um, quite often we have immigration um, that's um, saying well um, we decline your work visa because we think your employment is not sustainable um, so we've seen, we've seen that quite a lot um, so what I suggest that as your employer if you want to employ someone on a work visa so then I would suggest that there you do um, you do um, liaise with a good accounting firm not just a small accounting firm someone to stay at home and they're not um, persuasive when you you know put the um, accounting documents to immigration. I would also you um, suggest the employer do um, GST and PYE and everything uh, more legit. Um, um, last week I've come across an employer um, who wants to um, take someone on um, on board and working as a cafe manager. And um, this particular employer um, does not want to spend any time on this um, poor Indian girl and. Um, and I told this Indian girl, I said, look, if your employer is not going to um, onboard and then actually calling these Kiwis and do the market test to show that um, there's a genuine attempt to recruit Kiwis, and then this application is likely to be, to be declined. So, um, like I said, um, when you talk about visa, is the applicants, is the, um, the employer and the advisors. Three of you need to be on board. Three of you need to be at work at the same time and work and you know quite closely understand what is genuine attempt to recruit Kiwis. And you, you need to call everyone, you need to ask them to interview, you need to find out why these person cannot be employed. And you know, and in at the end of your um, attempt you need to write a report to say, hey I've I've done an advertisement, I've done this and, and I've done that, and then um, that's uh, why I want to employ um, you know, Kuma or, or um, some person and to work for me. So it is important that employer um, do these things and then the next year um, the employer will have to provide all these documents even before they employ someone on board. So um, I hope um, you uh, benefit from my speech and, um, and this employer, I, I really hope that New Zealand um, can have more people um, you know, coming to New Zealand and work and I really hope that um, our country can have more and more skilled workers and I really hope that immigration officer would not be um, um, just being narrow-minded in, in a small tunnel and trying to decline everything uh, because they can but you know I think they need to think about the big picture they need to think about uh, what is the good thing for this for this country and a good thing for the economy thank you very much